have you or anybody that you know ever experienced paranormal activity at your workplace? If so, you are not alone. Over the past two years, I've been personally experiencing some pretty crazy phenomenon at the office building that I've worked at almost every day, but nothing could have prepared us for what we captured on the security camera just a few weeks ago. And that video right there is the reason that this video was filmed. Myself and my friend Dylan Corcoran went back to the office after hours looking for answers, trying to figure out what we could do to make this crazy activity end once and for all. This video that you're about to watch is terrifying. You're going to be scared. I'd probably turn a light on, grab a snack, get comfortable, because after this video, you're going to have trouble sleeping. Alright everybody, so it is very late. I think it's almost midnight. Uh, Dylan and I had a very long work day today. Long story short, we're trying to figure out our film schedule for the next week, but Dylan has a food tasting for his wedding this weekend, and he's busy all next week, and CJ's busy all next week. I got some stuff going on next week, so I don't think we're going to be able to film too much coming up, so we decided that tonight's the only night we can film, so we just worked like a 15-hour day. We're exhausted, but we're, we're going to get some uh, some ghost hunting in tonight, so I'm here at one of CJ Faison's haunted businesses. You guys, if you, if you know, you know kind of thing. I don't want to give out the name because I don't want to give it the reputation that's haunted because it might not be haunted but it might be haunted. CJ showed us some footage today from some stuff he captured a few nights ago when he was here and it was actually mind-blowing what he captured on camera so we figured this would be a good place to film instead of going on the forest. We're gonna go get some footage here inside this business where we were working all day. I personally didn't have anything haunted happen to me today but I've had crazy stuff happen in the past. How about you Dylan? Did you have anything crazy happen today? Today? No, Dylan. Kind of like a tame Are you okay? I'm exhausted, dude, dude. you look so tired. <laughs> dude, it's been a long day. I'm I've actually... done 33,000 steps today alone. Dude. I feel kind of bad even like filming <laughs> and asking you to film tonight because you look so freaking tired. We need to. Like, we owe it to the subscribers. There's a reason we do this. Like, I'll push through it. I'll be fine. I'll get a second one of my energy here. I'll, like chug down some water or something. I hope so. This might be like abuse or something. I don't even know this is right. I'm good. It's fine. But, but today, no, I had nothing want to happen. But this week, yes, I did have some weird activity. What happened this week? I was back there. I was just going through getting stuff for CJ, and one of the doors just slammed shut on me, so that was okay. kind of cool. That's so. fun. That's enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, and after seeing his footage, I don't feel so comfortable that I'm sitting in one of the chairs that... Something should happen, and so... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but something happened to that... Maybe it wasn't that exact chair, but what a chair that looked just like that. Are you the chair? It doesn't talk. We don't know. But it might be that chair. We'll find out. Either way, I'm not going to spoil it. I'll let you guys watch CJ's video before we post ours and everything. But crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. The lanes out there. Crazy stuff there. I don't know. I, I just... Every time I come in here in the morning or if I'm here by myself at nighttime, it just feels like you're being washed. And I know it's, it's probably overstated, but this place really does have a crazy past. Uh, the clown is here. Lucky the clown, which I know nothing about. But CJ told me a little bit about it today. You're going to kiss him? I'm going to kiss him on the cheek. I always knew there was something funny about you, Dylan. <laughs> oh, no. It's the clown is very haunted. I don't truly really know the story. I know Dylan knows a little more. I'll let Dylan talk about it in his video. But the clown is creepy. Dylan's going to actually do some stuff with the clown. Not like that. He's going to get in with the clown. I'll let him talk about it in his video. But there's said to have been bodies found on this property. It's said that there might have been a little pew-pew accident upstairs. I wasn't here for those, so I don't know if it's true. But haunted. Place is haunted. So I'm inviting you guys as well, just like I did in the last video. Please, if you have any ghost hunting equipment, please take it out tonight. Use it. Use the hashtag CBFEXP. I messed the hashtag up last time, but use that hashtag for me, and I'm going to let you guys know what happens tonight in this video, and I want to know what happens to you at your house if you're not scared, if you're not a little scaredy cat. Ghost hunt with us. Be a part of the video. Be part of this experiment that we're trying to do worldwide and see if watching videos at home can turn up the paranormal activity in your own home. I think it's kind of cool to think about. So, yeah, like Dylan just said, we are not liable for anything that happens to you, but I think it'd be cool to hear what does happen, if anything. So, chrisbearfilms.com if you want to grab merch. That's it for me. Um, I'm going to let Dylan do his intro, and then we're going to get started. So, let's go. All right, so I think we are going to split up because obviously Dylan needs some coffee or espresso or maybe a shot of like morphine or adrenaline or something. He needs something. Dylan's tired. Shot I'm tired too. I, I think I did about 15,000 steps. Not as much as you, but I still did some walking today. But we both agreed that we're not going to stay here super long. We're going to stay here for maybe another hour. We're just going to try to get some film for you guys. We want you guys to have something to watch. So. Uh, I've decided to switch it up today. I'm gonna open up Necrometer and I'm gonna go into the office. Now, the office here connects to three or four different offices as well as like the main counter there. And the women who work behind the counter Thursday nights always have stories about things they hear and see 
I don't know what goes on or what happened back there, but I'm kind of nervous to go back there right now. We actually heard the credit card terminal before I started filming. Like it, it made the beeping noise that like when you swipe a card. Don't know why or how it would That's do that, common. but. That is literally very common. There's been so many times I've been here like, late at night, finish this stuff up. And, and that just starts beeping. So like, okay, it doesn't make sense. Like, cool. like why would it do that? It doesn't really. I've had cash registers randomly just dang and open up. Like I just can't explain it. I never can. It's weird. It's very weird. But I just, like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to, to kind of see what we can have happen, if anything. If nothing happens, then we'll go home without videos. And it is what it is. So what do you think, Dilly? You ready to split up? I guess so. Oh, my arm's getting tired holding my camera. Oh, man, That's heavy. Practice. I know. Wow. I don't film enough. You're right. Dylan's got some crazy beeping device that detects EMF, PMF, DMFs. Uh, electric, RF, magnitude. Whatever. It does everything. That's what I'm saying. It does everything. That's, that's yeah. really nice. Shout so. out to Tesman. Yeah, I don't know. Tesman, whoever you are, hit me up. I want one of those cool devices. But I'm going to use Necrometer because I haven't used that in a while. I always use Spirit Talker and everyone talks crap about it. So, goodbye. I'll see you soon. Have fun. Uh, I'm just going to turn it on. And Talk I'm going to turn it on. I'm just gonna turn on text, not speech. I don't wanna get scared. Actually, I want you guys to hear it, so. All right, volume is on. It said uncertain, so maybe it's uncertain with me. I don't really know what that means, but. Oh, jeez. That was kind of weird. It said go west. Could you guys explain to me what it means to go west? Where, where would west be, I guess? Yo, west is actually this way because the highway goes that way. Highway is north. All right, I'm going west. I'm listening to you. There's a lot of stuff in here. Remember, breathing and stuff that really creeps me out. Oh, okay, that's creepy. I, I'm not gonna say why yet, but that's freaking creepy. Um, so I'm behind the counter. I filmed back here before too. I said uncertain again. So I hope you guys just don't know me if you're uncertain about me being here, but. Fortune. Fortune. I'm not gonna get to, can't show any customer stuff, but um, I'm gonna sit right here. It's a sound. I'm not alive. You're not alive. Are you aware that you're not alive? That was a dumb question. Why did I just say that? Obviously they just said I'm not alive. How long have you been unalive? George. Now the name Jerry that came up was weird because I believe Jerry is the name of one of CJ's relatives and I truly believe a thousand percent that that's true. I can't confirm that right now, but I'm gonna ask him. And if it is true, I'll pop it up on screen. So we got Jerry and George. So why are you guys in the office? Why are you still here? Protect. Protect. Are you protecting CJ and the rest of the people who work here? Keeping everybody safe? The words come through a little bit quicker on this one. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but. Stop. I was just hearing stuff above me. It sounded like footsteps. I don't think Dylan went upstairs. I'm pretty sure Dylan went out in the lanes. Do you want me to stop communicating? Are you not enjoying this? Am I disrupting you possibly? I got another name. Vincent, then probably not. Is there anything you want to tell me? I'm listening, I'm all ears. And I'm just sitting in an office right now, but we have a lot of weird stuff happening here, so. I think it's a good reason to sit here and my grave. My grave. I mean, is your grave around here, or I don't? Coolness. I don't know that anyone's actually buried here on the property. So it just said wedding. I was sitting in Dylan's Dylan's chair, and it said wedding. So I don't know if that had anything to do with with that. Is that being Dylan's wedding coming up? Agree. Yeah, I said agree. Hello? Is that like a door slam? Who just made that noise?
Tell you know me who made that noise. That was really weird. I literally sound like a door slam. I'm trying to listen to see if it says anything else, but. Can you do that again for me? Different noise, but what was that? Dress. It's a dress. I'm gonna, I don't, maybe that's Dylan, but Dylan's so far away from me if he's out in the lanes. That's, I'm on the highway. It's a dress. Um, and it said some interesting stuff that I don't really know what some of these words mean. She has left. She has left. So it was talking about somebody. Dress, she has left. The wedding. I thought maybe it was talking about Dylan, but maybe it's not. Catherine. Someone works here in this office and their name is very similar to Catherine. So that's, that just gave me the chills. And she did, she did just leave. Mm, what is that? That's so weird. All right, I'm gonna stop this for a second. Outside. It's an outside. She left outside for sure. I just want to listen for a second, guys. See if we hear anything else. the hell? You guys hear that too, right? Like, there's obviously nobody out there. It sounded like somebody was just banging on the window, though. I'm like, usually pretty comfortable here, but I'm like nervous right now. Something just feels weird. Am I in danger at all? Can you tell me that? I'm gonna turn this back on without the speech because I want to listen. Is there anything I need to know about being in here? Am I in any danger? Do you want to harm me? Haunted doll. Metal haunted doll. So there's actually some haunted dolls in my uh, car right now that you all have sent us. Which is actually outside, so I don't know if this is something to do with the dolls that are in my car. Um, I could literally show you guys if you want after. But that was just like a strange... I don't know what you guys think about these whole, you know, these apps. You know, I talk about it a lot, but like Spirit Talker, Necrometer, these apps bring up words to us, right? And the words... Oftentimes the words are very like accurate as far as like, you know, correlating to the things going on in our lives or things around us, which is really cool. So I like to use these just because I like to see what it says. And if it says things, then I ask another question and it answers that question. I think that's kind of cool. And I feel like that's almost proof that there's something going on. I could be wrong though. Not so. Not so. See, <laughs> it sounds like it's like taunting me now. It's just strange, so. Apologize if I'm a little bit bright, guys. Sorry, I was probably way too bright. My bad. I'm such an idiot. Who's in the office with me right now is what I want to know. Please tell me your name. Tell me why you're here. Dylan Stanley. I think it's probably worth like a hundred bucks. I should, probably, I should probably steal it, shouldn't I? Sorry, Dylan. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Yeah, there just looked like there was like a face in the glass. Did you guys see that? Am I seeing things? It was only there for a split second, but I looked over and saw a face. I don't know what I just, was it wasn't my own face? Whoa, 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 who just made that banging noise? 
Who was that? I just heard you. The activity that happens here, typically, is crazy, yes, but it's never really, in my opinion, like, malicious, or super violent. So I'm not expecting anything like that to happen. Although the stuff that CJ caught on camera was actually crazy. So I guess if that was, you know, used and pushed towards somebody that would possibly be malevolent or bad. But I just think that it's, like I said earlier, so like protect, um, trying to keep us either safe or just keep an eye on the place. Um, obviously this place has been passed through some generations, been around for a while, so. So off, okay. See, now I'm starting to think like maybe not really relating to what's going on. Although Dylan did tell me one time that his favorite animals are sloths. So I don't know if he can confirm or deny that, but I'm pretty sure that was true. And I'm sitting right in front of his desk, which is back there. So All right, I'm going to go to a different location here. Maybe someone's nickname was sloth. That's, that's a possibility. Maybe, maybe I'm not trying to reach. I'm just saying, did you see that orb? That was crazy. There was literally an orb. I just watched it go straight up. I hope the camera caught that. It's hard to wear hoodies because it, like, it doesn't really show my chills. The chills are real right now. Is there anything you want to tell me? Or would you like to guide me to a different room in this building? Because I'll go there. I think I'm going to go upstairs, I think. It's really scary up there, but I think I'm going to go. There's someone in that back room. Can you make that noise again for me? It was very clear. Anything else you gotta tell me, let me know, or I'm gonna move on. Whoa, 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 what is that? It almost sounded like he claims. Did you guys hear that? It was like a. <laughs> I just heard a claim right before I said that. I mean, organization in an office. Yeah, that's, that's, there's a lot of that going on here. So, um, love. love. I don't know what that means, but okay. Is somebody walking around out there? I legitimately am like very uncomfortable. Just to show you guys, there's literally nobody in here. Just supplies. Who's back here right now? Please tell me your name. I'm gonna sneak back here to this office really quick. I'm back in motivated right now. I just wanna make sure there's like nothing going on because the stuff I just heard was really weird. If y'all are partaking in the experiment that I have going on, please let me know. That's probably really bright and I apologize. Um, but let me know if you guys have captured anything in your own homes. If you had any activity or anything crazy happen, let me know. I know that I've asked you guys to do this for me in the last video, which I don't even know if it posted yet. I don't think it has. So at the time of this, the video actually hasn't posted yet. So at the time of this, um, sorry, brain fart there. I don't actually know the responses or if anyone actually did like part of partake in it. So I'm asking one more time to try it. But again, if you have paranormal equipment that you want to use or um, your friends have paranormal equipment or anybody you know has some paranormal stuff that you can use like an EMF meter, even spirit talker or just a REM pod, like whatever you guys have to use. I think it'd be cool to see if while you're watching this video right here, anything happens around you or the devices go off or anything. It doesn't have to be like crazy stuff. It doesn't have to be evil. It doesn't have to be bad demonic poltergeist. Just activity, just if anything in your house is getting ramped up, I think it'd be cool to try to figure it out and we can talk about it in the comment section. We can see what's going on. The stuff that just had happen out there, obviously it wasn't the craziest stuff, but it was enough to kind of make me say like WTF. It always gets creepier when the lights are out, obviously. So that's, that's helping me a lot, but I don't know. That was just really weird. I had some really weird feelings in there. It sounded like footsteps at one point. Um, 
I need to get back out there and, and go back in the dark, but I just want to let you guys know what was going on. And I got my breath back. I feel okay now. Whew, that was a lot. That was a lot. I wasn't expecting all that to happen. So, um, yeah, everything's good here. I guess we'll keep filming for a little bit longer anyways. I swore I closed that, but okay. Everyone's out here. How's your time? Come talk to me. Tell me what you want to tell me, please. I'm all ears. What the f was that? Hello? That's that's the boss man's office. I'm not going in there, but I mean, like, what was that? For real? Man, this place really is creepy. Never seems to fail to amaze me. The things that we capture here. I don't sit right there. You can see him. You know, we're doing okay here. I just want to show you guys. I'm going to wait to actually motivate it for a little bit. Is there anybody in here that wants to communicate? Did you guys hear that? I'm doing it guys, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it! Woo! Woo! Oh there we go, okay. I'm here at one of my friend's businesses that is supposed to be haunted, so I'm looking for who or whatever is here to communicate with me. Tell me your name. Let me know why you're here. I mean, it's still dark back here, even though there's a monster for John. That's how you know CJ was back here. You see that? Dude loves him some pretzels, so. Let's keep this thing on right here. We're gonna listen. I gotta remember, Dylan was just telling us how we had some someone slam, like a door slam recently. And the girls behind the counter always have stories. CJ captured some crazy stuff in his video that he filmed here the other night. The building itself just has some type of, you know, haunted lure to it or whatever it is. So I do wonder, you know, if anything is here, what is it? Why is it still here? Is it just from the past? Is it is it true about the whole pew pew thing upstairs? It's believable. We are at peace. We're at peace. That's good. How long have you been here for? Could you tell me that? I'm gonna go out to the lane area after this probably and I should still go upstairs, but I, I'm just trying to hit some different areas because I don't want to be in the same spot Dylan's at filming the same stuff. You guys know, kind of boring. It's not as fun when we have the same video to watch. I like to make it unique and interesting and we get different perspectives of two different events that happen on the same night. So um, yeah, this room is kind of small. There's not really a ton going on here, but um, you're just looking at my face, but I want you guys to see that I'm here. And we're trying to investigate using the tools that we have, so. I also have this trusty boy in my pocket. This trusty boy. Why not? Why not? I just thought I saw someone in the corner there, but there was nothing, so. <clears throat> Spirit talkers quiet tonight too, which is, I mean, that's not a bad thing. That just proves more legitimacy to me. That it's not always like do 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 spin words off. So, all right, spirits of this haunted business that I'm not going to say the name of. I'm just wondering if you could introduce yourself. 
Tell me your name. Okay. Spirit Talker said woman. If there's a woman here or a man, whoever you are, please tell me your name. Tell me anything you want me to know. I'm listening to you. I can hear you through this device. Sounds like that refrigerator was having some stomach cramps. I hope it's okay. That's how I feel when I drink that stuff, honestly. I'm gonna pause this for a second because I don't want to mess up what we're getting on here. So. All right, spirits of this haunted business, I'm not gonna say the name of. I'm just wondering if you could introduce yourself. Tell me your name. Spirit talker said woman. If there's a woman here or a man, whoever you are, please tell me your name. Tell me anything you want me to know. I'm listening to you. I can hear you through this device. Nothing that time around. We'll give one more try and we'll move on to a different place. So the rumor has it that uh, someone back here likes to slam doors and trap people in buildings. If you're here, whatever spirit, entity, being, supernatural creature, whatever it is, can you tell me something in my device? I want to know that you're here. I have questions for you. Put this back again. So the rumor has it that uh, someone back here likes to slam doors and trap people in buildings. If you're here, whatever sphere, entity, being, supernatural creature, whatever it is, can you tell me something in my device? I want to know that you're here. I have questions for you. You hear that? You hear that? You just hear that? I'm not gonna waste time tonight. I don't know how to like rewind without going all the way back, but I'm pretty sure there was like a little voice or a whisper or something right there towards the end. That was really weird. I don't know what it was. Um, kind of strange. If that was actually something, that's gonna be kind of cool. So um, yeah. Don't know. I don't know yet. That was odd, though. Just pull you on again. In my pocket. I'm curious to hear what that said. That's really interesting. So, so let me try to stop Spirit Talker. They need to make like make an option where you can lock the screen. If you guys are watching this, so I can use Spirit Talker, lock the screen in my phone, and keep going and hear the words. Because then it would be so much easier than me stopping it. This is my office. Not very often, it's down at the end there, but I often hear stuff in here. Footsteps. Footsteps above me too, but there's not really anything above me, so it's just odd that, that happens, but we're gonna get out of here. Alright, where should I go next? Is Dylan in there? Whew. Okay, Dylan's in there. I guess we'll go out to the lanes for a little bit. We're gonna wander around the lane area. At this business that you guys definitely don't know the name of. Your bones? What about your bones? What a noise.
this is the worst place to be out here in my opinion um often very active i've captured some crazy evidence out here myself and uh yeah this is the infamous clown that i don't know what's on about but i guess his name's lucky and it said that he's super haunted so oh oh good timing now i can hear better i like that hello that was that was weird lucky the clown if you can hear me i'm asking that you talk to us and tell us if you is that actually your name that's what i want to know is your name actually lucky who just made that noise sorry guys i guess we're talking open let's make sure it's still on What? Oh my god. That was literally the exact second I just heard something in that corner. Could we have been that could have been pure coincidence. Yes, you're not wrong. Could have been pure coincidence, you're not wrong. I said watch out here. Should I watch for you or are you warning me to like be be careful is what I need to know. If you're telling me to be careful, then I'm gonna keep my guard up. I'm just gonna head over there. And guys, I know you're hearing some stuff. Because the highway is nearby and it's very loud. But. There's noise over there now. Who just made that noise over in the corner? Can you please tell me what's going on? You trying to scare me? What the? Never mind. Can't make that up. You can do that again? I'm coming closer to you. I'm coming over to the side here. Can you make that noise for me one more time? I don't know what I just saw, but. Hello? If you want to talk to me, now's the time. Ivy. Your name's Ivy? You're the one who's making noises right now? Scaring the crap out of me? Oh my god, that's crazy. Ivy. I can hear you walking around back here. That's creeping me out more than anything. But thank you for making that noise right there. That's really cool. Just did it again. All right, that's more evidence than some people get in a whole night. That's crazy. That was freaking cool. Ivy, is there anybody else out here with you? Look at that bad boy. Did I scare you? <laughs> yeah, you did scare me actually. Thanks. It's gonna be pretty good at that. Should I eat this catch up? I'm really hungry. Do you guys like the voice recorder thing? Because I don't want to keep using it if you don't. And it seems like I don't always get a lot of answers with the voice recorder, but arguably might be one of like the most real and accurate pieces of equipment I could use because it's recording real time voices. But I want to bust it out again. I want to see 
we get anything else out here in this little area here. You see that? That's the vehicle that was in my Instagram story the other day that when I said that my head sticks over the windshield. So if I was ever to own one of those old 70s Camaros or Corvettes, excuse me, wouldn't be good. There's some kind of spirit out here making lots of noises. You said my phone, your name's Ivy. Can you confirm that for me? And are you actually trying to scare me or are you just letting me know that you're here? I do truly believe that some of that could be the wind. Surely could be the wind. Those back there definitely were not. There's no chance that those were. The ones over there might have been. But that that corner is very active tonight. Deliberate. Deliberate. Okay. Using big words again. You gotta stop that. I don't like that. I went to a small school in upstate New York. You think my education is good enough to know what those big words mean? You're wrong. I'm stupid. Talk to me like I'm stupid, okay? There's some kind of spirit out here making lots of noises. You said my phone, your name's Ivy. Can you confirm that for me? Are you actually trying to scare me? Or are you just letting me know that you're here? Me know that you're here. We absolutely got stuff right there. That was crazy. I'm gonna do a quick one. One more quick one and I'll be done, I promise. One more time, I invite whatever entity being spirit that's in this room with me right now that wants to speak to me, talk to this red light in my hand. Please. You will find things below. You will find things below. Now, this is a concrete slab with no basement. So, uh, unless we were to dig, which I don't see happening anytime soon, I don't think we're gonna find anything below. But again, I told you in the beginning that there's rumors that there was a body found on the property. And, or there's one, maybe there's two or four or 12. I don't know, there could be more. So that's very possible that that could actually mean something. But pause that for a second. I just want to play this one back and then we'll uh, carry on with our merry with merry selves. One more time, I invite whatever entity being scared that's in this room with me right now that wants to speak to me, talk to this red light in my hand. Please. Yeah, your guys' feedback is really appreciated. Um, one more time, CBFEXP, use that hashtag. And if your guys' equipment at home is going off or saying anything that relates to what's going on here, please let me know. But I think we got something there at the last one, which is kind of cool. Didn't sound crazy, didn't sound super like dark or evil, but um, definitely sounded like there was something there, so. Uh, I think I'm gonna walk around now with uh, the SLS camera. And I just want to see if we pick up any anomalies or anything uh, with the, the ghost tube camera app, which I'm recording, which I'll probably end up switching. I'll use this audio, but I'll use this video. So 
Uh, yeah, let's do that. So that right there is seeing a bench, I believe. I'm trying to use different tools, guys. The whole point of this is to not use the same things over and over. So if you guys think that these things are a little bit, you know, wonky or they're not real or they don't work, just let me know in the comments. I, I want to hear your feedback. I'm not dumb. I know, and I'm not going to try to pretend that this is real evidence when it's not. This thing is picking up stick figures, obviously, that are just benches. So I'm not going to try to tell you guys that, oh my God, it's a ghost on the benches. No, it's just picking up the benches. So. I gotta figure out my hands. Oh, it looks like we got, or sounds like we got something going on. What was that noise? Tell me what that meant. I'm just gonna walk around here for a minute. See if we pick up any other. Alright, see, it's hard for me to, to buy any of these now because they're actually just picking up things on the wall. That's not a person, that's literally a light. So, again, I'm, I'm realistic about this stuff, guys. I get it. Totally get it. Oh, that's weird. That just picked up the vending machine. Did I just see that? Is it just seeing the Pokemon? Or is there like someone there trying to grab a drink? Ex employee or something? That's really weird. That's very weird. Literally sitting by like a vent fan window thing. That gave me some chills. That's weird. I mean, it, it, I'm pretty sure it knows that that's just, see it's going now, I got closer to it. All right guys, tell me what you think about that one. That gave me, the, <laughs> that just gave me a weird feeling. Oh, I'm stuck on some cat litter. <laughs> don't wanna talk about it. No, we don't have cats. If anybody's here and wants to show themselves to me, don't be shy. My name's Chris. I'm just here to communicate and prove that you're real. I'm not just a crazy person that likes to talk to the air. I think that's just seeing the monitor up there, but I could be wrong. That's a really tall figure if that is something. Jeez. What was that? Hello? Who just made that noise? If it's actually seen people like sitting around riding the golf cart, that's actually creepy. I don't think it is, but <laughs> what are you seeing? Bro, is there someone by the golf cart right now? Are you just staying here hanging out, trying to go for a ride, trying to figure out how to use it? That's the first ever Bobcat ever made, you guys know that? I'm just kidding, but it's old as heck. Somebody upstairs there? Guys, I'm sorry. Please inform me what the beeping means. Did the person who used to own that motorcycle pass away? Did I just see you sitting on the seat of the bike? Something's happening up there, guys. That's so crazy. There might be someone trying to get in the golf cart, but that's a big figure, whatever that thing was. Alright, when it must be time to meet up with your Dylan soon, because uh, we've been separated for almost half an hour now. I'm really curious. If there's anything else you guys want to talk to me, I'd like to hear it. I thought these ones are really good evidence so far, so it's actually been good. That's just a four wheeler. Lucky, are you here? Can you please get off of the clown? Get out of that case and come down here and talk to me. I want to see you get out of the case, Lucky. Can you do that for me? Can you come over here? So I heard that noise. It seen something over there. That literally sounds like footsteps. Is somebody walking out there? Yo, what the hell? Sounds like someone's walking. Whew. 
I don't think Loki wants to go out of his little case there. Just experimental, guys. I just want to try it and just see, you know, what the deals with that. I have more questions about the clown. Oh. I think we're just picking up some straight lines, but I do have questions about Lucky. I'm definitely uh, curious what else Lucky has to offer, or I don't know why Lucky is the way Lucky is. Why is that clown haunted? Where did it come from? I have questions, but please let me know what you think of this video so far by smashing the like button, or if you don't like it, you can smash the dislike button either way. It is appreciated. I'm hearing a lot out here, and I'm just trying to chalk everything up to being paranormal. I know that there's probably some stuff that could be the wind, um, but the footsteps clear as day don't really make sense to me. And some of those figures and ghosts too were kind of weird. And every time I look over, I feel like I see a shadow figure walk one way or the other. And it's really creeping me out right now, and I'm very uncomfortable. I'm gonna walk my ass out of here. Oh, geez. Imagine, they got trapped in here. I don't know you guys, this place has definitely got some history. I don't think it's all bad. I think some of it could be just life happening. But there's some really crazy stuff that happens here. Don't still back there, I think. No? Dylan's not back there. Did I not see him earlier? Bro, <laughs> what the? What the? Oh my god. I just had an actual heart attack. <laughs> Dog, how did I walk by and not see you? I literally looked over there. I don't know. I was wondering, I was waiting for you to say something. I was just waiting. Did you have any weird stuff happen, Bob? Yeah, there's a lot of activity out there in the lanes. The honestly. lanes are very active. So and I, I did chalk some of it up to the wind, I'm sure. Yeah. But I heard clear footsteps. I got a repetitive bang when I asked for it in one of the corners. Right. That's the last app I used, showed some weird stuff. So I don't know, like, how about you? What'd you have happen? Yeah, I mean, the lanes is weird stuff. I kind of walked all around. I kept hearing, like, footsteps, like, okay. above me, which is weird. Um, I got some kind of weird spirit talker answers and some doubts and routes, but I wasn't getting, like, clear, concise evidence tonight. Which was weird, because normally, like, I get at least something here. Yeah. Um, but probably the craziest thing that happened, I was sitting right in there, and I mentioned, like, in the office before to them, I was like, hey, like, you made cash registers go off, you made card readers go off. I was just kind of sitting there for probably, like, five, ten minutes, and all of a sudden, one of the cash registers dang and opened. Really? That's so cool. So, I sat there for, like, another 15, 20 minutes afterwards, completely dead. Like, no pun intended. Like, happened. just nothing happened afterwards. So Okay. So, I mean, I it's... Like, it it's, gave me something, but I don't you know. know. I said, I don't think it's really always negative or bad, but. No, I was trying to really get something. I went in with Lucky in there, tried to give him a kiss. I couldn't quite reach him, but I got close. Uh, tried getting some <sighs> answers. I got some names, but like Violet, Hazel, stuff like this, yeah. Alice, but I don't know if that's Both actually names. the name of Lucky because it didn't kind of relate to later on so I don't know, yeah, I don't know. Could be anything. that's something that I need everybody to watch the video let me know see what you guys think yeah so. go down there and hit the little subscribe button and watch this video I'm down there this man get to 100,000 no we're gonna get you to 50 there. and I'm gonna get so. to 100 and you're gonna get to 100 I'm gonna get to 2 and we're gonna keep growing absolutely brother absolutely so no, I have a question I gotta ask you a question first before we go and I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this and it actually freaking scared me so yeah. as soon as I walked in the office where we started the name Jerry came through. Does CJ not have a relative named Jerry? I think he does. I think he really Isn't does. like one of his, I'm yeah. not going to say what, but his, I'm going to blur that maybe part out, but it's kind the of first thing that I got. I've been mentioning the name Jerry a lot when I'm in there because like one of like the biggest buyers I've set up recently is yeah. Jerry and I'm on the phone with him like every day. The second I walked in and said it, the first thing it said, so I thought that was really weird, but very odd but yeah either way we're, we're tired so i think we're gonna wrap this little pony show up but like dylan said he didn't get any evidence but that's just the way it goes sometimes you don't always get the craziest stuff and it could have been some wind but i think i got some decent stuff enough to be like hey this place is haunted i think i don't know you guys gotta experience it for yourself you guys gonna sit behind your keyboards and talk crap and say oh it's not real it's fake it doesn't happen do it yourself come investigate with us sometime i i invite you all out 
you're more than welcome to come investigate and see what really happens out here because it's creepy it's scary but it's also a lot of fun so make sure you guys go show Dylan some love hit some likes hit some comments type some stuff up let us know what happened thank you for participating in the experiment thank you for everyone who's bought merch I love you guys let me know where you want me to go next see you in the next video